In this video, experts from Little Beaver, the premier manufacturer of earth drills and augers, take an in-depth look at some maintenance items on a hydraulic earth drill. First, check for any leaks or loose hose connections. Make sure the hoses do not have any cracks or cuts that could cause them to leak or come apart. Check to make sure the throttle lever is in line with the throttle handle mount. When the throttle is fully engaged, there should be a gap between the lever and the handle mount. Check for the same gap on the other side. Make adjustments if the throttle is touching the handle in order to receive full power from the engine. Next, check the screws that secure the hydraulic tank to the carrier. Place an open end wrench on the top nut while holding the bottom screw in place with a box end wrench. Tighten the nut until it is all the way down. You should also remove the shroud between the tank and the engine and check the Lovejoy connect. Make sure the rubber spider is not worn or missing pieces. To adjust hydraulic fluid, start by removing the cap from the hydraulic tank. Use a funnel to add ISO 46 hydraulic oil to the reservoir. The hydraulic reservoir should be filled to the top of the sight gauge with hydraulic oil. Do not overfill the tank. When servicing, it is a good idea to replace the spin-on filter on the front of the tank. If the unit has low power and you don't know if it is due to the handle or the engine, start by disconnecting the hoses. Then reconnect the hoses from the power source. Next, start the engine and pull the hoses apart. The engine should lug down, showing full load. This indicates the engine is functioning properly. Finally, always run the engine at full throttle on the hydraulic unit. For more information or questions about your Little Beaver Earth Drill, or to check out additional service videos, visit www.littlebeaver.com.